let go of the idea of, of trends. Um, I find that word very limiting. Uh, you have to go with who you are, what you feel comfortable in. You know, you can be and dress however you want, whatever's making you happy and inspired at, at, at the time. And it could change a year later, and that's totally fine. There are so many great cropped flare trousers. I think I'm loving that. I think they look just as great um, with a pair of sneakers as with a pair of platforms or pumps, and I'm, I'm loving that right now. Well, I'm all about a mule, um, and I think that that's such a great shoe because it's something that can work perfectly with jeans and a t-shirt when it's the weekend, but also looks really great with cropped trousers or um, even um, a traditional skirt or dress. So it's one of those really diverse pieces that can go both ways. Any blazers. I love a blazer, a sleeveless blazer, a little cropped blazer. I just think adding those to your wardrobe, especially your workwear, can make you instantly stylish and a little bit more polished. Don't try too hard, just wear something that you feel really yourself in because ultimately that's when you're going to be the most confident. I look at these young girls making these very bold career choices and life choices and it's just so amazing that, um, that women are feeling powerful enough and confident enough to, to, to do that. And I would just say to really continue that, to not be afraid of having new ideas and thinking differently and just being 100% you. I have my priorities, I think, very well ironed out. Uh, family comes first for me, and then everything falls second to that. Um, and I don't compare myself to other people and what they've accomplished. This is my journey, it's my path, um, and it's important for me to enjoy and take in every uh, part of that, look at it as an experience. It's true, you do reach a place where you have to decide like, okay, do I want to make money or do I want to be creative? And there's definitely a way to do both, but you know, you're not limited to your job. Um, you know, I think it's important to just always be in that um, open mindset pretty much all the time and find different areas in your life where you can go, go and express that. What can you contribute that's different from every other site? And a lot of times that just comes from being real because as individuals, we all are different from each other. So what about your voice is unique? And go with it. If it's humor, can you inject that voice into your writing style? When I started, there were very few people doing what I was doing and having that message that I had about body positivity. So that's really what resonated and helped me grow. So if you're coming into the space now, what are you bringing to the table that is different from everyone else? Doing a retail job or a restaurant job teaches you a lot about people and about how to interact with people and it gives you a whole new appreciation for people who work in stores and who have to interact with people and different kind of personalities all day long. The most important thing to know, especially in the space that we're in, is there's enough room for all of us. No one needs to be competing with each other. You guys don't have to knock each other down in order to be successful. There's plenty of room for everybody to be successful in their own way and to do their own thing and have your own passions. I used to think like, oh, I didn't go to business school. Like, I don't necessarily like have a business sense in the same way that you read about, but really like a business sense is knowing your business. Yeah. And when it's a brand that you've created, who knows it better than you? So it's like, you don't need to be afraid of like, oh, I don't know that. Or like this person seems like they know more than I do. Like, you know you and you know your business and that's ultimately the most important thing. Well, I think what's so exciting about Boss Notes is that we're really bringing together all kinds of women from different fields who are doing amazing, interesting things and talking to them about their careers, their must-have tips, uh, their style, all of the important things. I would say to never forget exactly what your company is there to do, right? So our company, for example, is there to provide inspiration and value and utility to all of our readers. 